press the button. I did. Hi, sis. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Christ. Individuated expressions of our true identity. <laughs> mm, Beautiful. That feels right. It is. Yes. That feels right. We share the same identity, identical identity. One self and beautiful individuated expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Great way to start. Feel that. And, it, okay. and it's impossible. Well, before we start the lesson, I've just seen something here. <laughs> if we share the same identity, uh -huh. it's impossible for us to conflict. Right. Unless, of course, <laughs> <laughs> we've made up our mind that we don't want to share the identity as the beloved child of God. Mm -hmm. right? We want to be a different identity. That's the only know. way we can conflict with anyone at all. And so how did we peel off from the one mind? Like, how did we try to do that? How do we? Mm -hmm. How how did we think that we did? <laughs> you mean in the beginning? <laughs> yeah, just that if we're all one mind and we don't want to be part of that one mind and we want to have an experience of not that mind, then there's the idea of the split mind, separate privatized minds and the body, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So while we're mythically me identified, we really do believe that we have separated and now we can conflict and clash and have opposing wills. Yeah. Separate yeah. agendas. My agenda clashes with your agenda. That's right. We don't see things the same. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's go. So <laughs> that would be cause for a loss of peace, would it not? Yes, it would. Good segue, sis. <laughs> Like that. But boom, boom. Psh. Lesson 273. <laughs> Sis is going to be reading that for us. I am? Yes. I read yesterday, didn't I? Oh, did you want me to read this? <laughs> okay. I'll read okay. It. okay. Lesson 273. The stillness of the peace of God is mine. The stillness of the peace of God is mine. Perhaps we are now ready for a day of undisturbed tranquility. If this is not yet feasible, we are content and even more than satisfied to learn how such a day can be achieved. Undisturbed tranquility. If we give way to a disturbance, let us learn how to dismiss it and return to peace. We need but tell our minds with certainty, the stillness of the peace of God is mine. I'm going to say that again. The stillness of the peace of God is mine. And nothing can intrude upon the peace that God himself has given to his son. Father, your peace is mine. What need have I to fear that anything can rob me of what you would have me keep? I cannot lose your gifts to me. And so the peace you gave your son is with me still in quietness and in my own eternal love for you. Mm. I love the timing of this lesson because of all the... Um temptations to believe in images that bring our mind into disturbance mm -hmm. so what a beautiful timely reminder and practice 
that any time I'm looking at something that would draw my mind into a state of contraction, whether it's, you know, political or based on a COVID vaccine or uh, there's endless, countless options from the bu the ego's buffet. At all times, under any circumstance, we have an option to withdraw from physical sense testimony and turn within to the part of our mind that we share with God, which is always at peace. And that's where we can rest, knowing that anything the body and its senses are reporting is pure illusion. The illusions are bred or made by the ego thought system to be very convincing to the mind so that it gets drawn out and all wrapped up in nothing. Mm -hmm. Seeing what isn't there, judging it, fueled with emotion, employing an I know mind, thinking that there's something that we need do and then failing and then judging ourselves. Peace is always an option. It's always with us. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Mm. You know, the, the, this, because we've bought into this idea of uh, separation mm -hmm. and a false identity or a self-concept, that can conflict, that can experience anxiety, depression, sickness, conflict, all of that, right? Mm -hmm. um, there's such an intense temptation that appears to be constant to slip back into the ego thought system and slip back into believing that we're um that we are a body mm -hmm. right and and then as soon as we believe we're a body we're back looking through the five senses yeah at what never was and never could be mm -hmm. so how do you break that temptation mm -hmm. well jesus did give us something that is very helpful and i'd love to share it Please. with you yeah is um how to choose again, but when we're tempted, how to choose again. But I love this because he's teaching us how to choose again, but without guilt. It's big. It's really, really big. So can you share let, before you read where you're reading from? Yep. Thank okay. you. Yes. Yeah. It's from chapter five, section seven. And uh, it's from paragraph five and six. Yeah. Um, whenever you are not wholly joyous and would you say that would be most of the day yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> whenever you are not wholly joyous it's because you have reacted with a lack of love to one of god's creations now that could be a brother mm -hmm. it, it could be yourself mm -hmm. right and it world. could be it could be the world. Mm -hmm. um, it could be a thought from the past mm -hmm. as well. You know, past abuse, whatever. Perceiving this as sin, you become defensive because you expect attack. The decision to react in this way is yours, and can therefore be undone. Thank God. It cannot be undone by repentance in the usual sense because this implies guilt. If you allow yourself to feel guilty, you will reinforce the error rather than allow it to be undone for you. Isn't that big, sis? It's huge, yeah. And, I mean, you and I went through this mm -hmm. where we were trying to undo error Mm -hmm. seemingly with Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. but still flogging ourselves, beating ourselves up for yes. getting it wrong. Yes. And he's saying here, if you allow yourself to feel guilty, you will reinforce the error rather than allow it to be undone for you. Mm -hmm. Decision cannot be difficult. This is obvious if you realize that you must already have decided 
not to be wholly joyous if that is how you feel. Right. Therefore, the first step in the undoing is to recognize that you actively decided wrongly. I want to be wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> about what I believe. Yeah, yeah, right. All right. So yeah. he's saying recognize that you actively decided wrongly, but can as actively decide otherwise. Be very firm with yourself in this. <laughs> Um, and keep yourself fully aware that the undoing process, which does not come from you, that's important to remember, doesn't come from you, mm -hmm. is nevertheless within you because God placed it there. Your part is merely to return your thinking to the point at which the error was made and give it over to the atonement in peace. Say this to yourself as sincerely as you can, remembering that the Holy Spirit will, will respond fully to your slightest invitation. And there are five very succinct pieces to this or steps to this, right? First one is I must have decided wrongly because I am not at peace. Mm -hmm. Second, I made the decision myself and I can also decide otherwise. And the third, I want to decide otherwise because I want to be at peace. Fourth, I do not feel guilty because the Holy Spirit will undo all the consequences of my wrong decision if I will let him. And the last one, I choose to let him undo my wrong decisions by allowing him to decide for God, for me. Mm. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, yes, yes. It's, yes, it, it, and it's so clear. It's like, it's not, I'm not at peace, right? And yeah. it's not out there. I know that somewhere I made a decision for this because everything's coming from my mind. I'm deciding I don't like the way that I feel anymore. This is still, you know, knowing that it's originating from a choice and, and then handing it over, knowing that, and I love step four, because there's a hidden uh, jewel in there that not only will Holy Spirit correct your mind by choosing for God for you, but all the consequences of That's that it. wrong decision, right? I mean, wow. Every place where that wrong thought or the wrong decision seemed to affect a brother, a family member, a loved one, people at work, um, your body, whatever, however it seems to have spread out into your experience, Holy Spirit will undo all the effects because he's healing the cause, right? In the mind. It was simply a choice for separation. He's going to choose for God for you. And all we needed to do, the little willingness, was to say, I don't want this. I'm accountable. No judgment. Remember, judgment makes it real. Judgment would make it, would protect it, keep it outside of Holy Spirit's um, reach of correction. So we hand it over innocently to Holy Spirit. Say, I don't want this. Thank you for taking this, knowing full well that he, at the slightest invitation, he will make the correction on our behalf, right? that he'll choose for God for us. Really, there's nothing nothing other than a, a choose again. <laughs> That's it. That's yeah. it. And, and to trust it. Yeah. Not to doubt it. Mm -hmm. It has to be done with certainty. We've mm -hmm. given it to him. He's taken care of it. We've got to trust that. Sure. And no as doubt. you do it, you learn, you see the, the proof of it. And then you're more eager and willing to hand over another area. Oh my gosh, it really works. Okay, I can trust Holy Spirit with this. How about this? How about this? Until finally you lay down and go, it was his all along. <laughs> <laughs> I was just interfering with this belief that I was Corrine. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And remembering that the Holy Spirit is our right mind. It is the mind that we share with God. So the stillness of the peace of God is mine. Stillness of the peace of God is mine. Mm. 
Thank you, sis. Learning That's interesting. Money. Jesus gave me this little mantra, I don't know, last year, I think it was, and it worked really well for me. Very short and sweet. I am the peace of God. Thank you. We can really feel that when we turn our back on the world that we think we've made, that the peace of God is there and we are one with that. Peace that can just be in the midst of whatever seems to be going on and not be moved because it's a perfect state of forgiveness. This isn't, this isn't because God is. Yeah. They can't both be true. Mm -mm chaos and peace it's impossible no yeah okay thanks for joining us you guys that was 273 again the stillness of the peace of god is mine let's employ it today. have a peaceful day yeah have, have a, a peaceful, peaceful day, day. beautiful family thank you thank you thanks sis